this was one of those things that sh I think God, you said something because I had, I thought I had this clip of Gina Raimondo, who is the commerce secretary being interviewed about the fact that the job numbers were majorly revised to the tune of 818,000. Um, and they wanted to ask her about that. And here she somehow decided it was Trump that was saying it like that. He's spreading some rumor right. about the job numbers. And this is what happened. Uh, do you potentially think that this new numbers could be a liability for this campaign? No. When I hear that, first of all, I don't believe it because I've never heard Donald Trump say anything truthful. It is, though, from the Bureau of Labor. I don't I'm not familiar with that. She's not, she's not familiar with the Bureau of Labor, you guys. She's not familiar with it. I mean, she's just the Commerce Secretary. Why would she be familiar she's, with she that? She was an ex-governor, too, wasn't she? Oh she doesn't. She's not familiar with it. These people oh are God. not stable. <laughs> Like and not smart. They're not serious people. Like I don't. These aren't adults we're dealing with. I don't. I don't believe it. And I don't. I've never heard of that. And and Trump lies. Okay, this isn't. It doesn't have anything to do with Trump. Wait, you moron. It is eight hundred thousand jobs. <laughs> you guys, you lied. It was. It was that administration that lied right. about it. And well, so she's we're not familiar. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're not familiar with that bureau. Oh my god. But, but you guys are nuts. familiar with lying. <laughs> Very familiar. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, Kim Donaldson. Thank you, Kim, says, hey, chicks, two comments. One, IVF is no joke for sure and very different from IUI. Any infertility treatment is difficult. However, IVF gave me my son and it took everything out of me and my husband who had cancer. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I mean. Anybody who has gone through any kind of infertility knows the difference between these things. So for him to use IVF as a general term is bullshit, you guys. Right. It's a lie. He is a liar. Uh, Becky Lewis says, received my beautiful, healthy, green, emerald green. Uh, Arbor Vitae. Ooh, from Fast Growing Trees. Nice. I, I don't even know what that did is. I but I'm that sure right? it's lovely. I think I said that right. Thank you for choosing our sponsors. We appreciate that. Thank you. And Kim uh, Donaldson again says the viewership of the DNC could be people like us who turn on the TV just to watch the train wreck. The view, yeah. And and you're exactly right. And I mentioned that because right. that's that's right. us. That's why we watch it. Mm -hmm. We certainly wouldn't be if we weren't talking to We're it. Being forced. We're <laughs> <laughs> because of our job. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Otherwise, I would not wanna. Um, okay, so let's get into this jobs report. I love that Jim Acosta had to report on it. There's something kind of delicious about it that. It is very delicious. News in the CNN right now. Breaking. Uh, the job growth has been far weaker in the U.S. than originally reported. That is according to new data just coming in this morning. Let's get right to CNN's Matt Egan. What's the headline, Matt? Jim, 818,000 fewer jobs were added uh, during the period between April 2023 and March of this year. We were bracing for these revisions to come out and show that job growth was weaker. And that is what we got. Um, this is probably on the high end of the expectations. Uh, some of the forecasters had been saying probably around few hundred thousand jobs. Uh, Goldman Sachs had said maybe up to a million. So this is on the higher end. Uh, we're seeing some of the biggest revisions downward in sectors that include manufacturing, leisure and hospitality, professional and business services. Of course, some sectors actually added more jobs than were previously known. Uh, private education, health services, transportation and warehousing. We look at the market, not a massive reaction uh, from the market. Uh, I think that's in part because this is somewhat backwards looking data. What investors really care about is what happens next. And these numbers out today, they do support the idea that the jobs market has been weaker than we previously thought and that it has been slowing down. Uh, and making sure. Did, do you think so? Yeah. Did Don Lemon write that report? <laughs> Did he write it? <laughs> These people are shameless. I want to also remind everybody about how amazing this product is for dogs. Oh, my God. And cats. The dogs and the kitties and the horses. And horses. All of them. And people, too. Yeah. <laughs> Coat defense, you guys, if you've never heard of this product and you have dogs that you've had to take to the vet or, or, you know, cats or horses or whatever, if you've had to go to the vet because your dog is one of those dogs like my Maisie, who's allergic to everything and who's got skin irritations and wants to chew on her feet and like she's always got like all of the things right and it used to be that I would take her to the vet constantly and just think this is my lot in life to spend a lot of money on Apoquel. 
And then I find, I find coat defense and I realize how easy it is to just take this preventative powder. You just pour, Oh, I didn't realize it would spill out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over a keyboard now. It's all over my yeah. keyboard now. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you just take this and you sprinkle it right on their toe beans. You can sprinkle it on their bedding to actually help deodorize. Um, you can sprinkle it all over their fur and just rub it in. And it helps with a lot of the problems that lead to skin irritations. It's preventative and it also works as a treatment. It's amazing. And they also have shampoo. Uh, they have balms <laughs> for dry noses and, and dry toe beans. They've got wound care ointment. They've got so many great products. And the shampoo actually was created for humans who just didn't want chemical exposure. And so they have a human version of their shampoo and a dog version of the shampoo. And it's great because it doesn't strip your dog of all the oils that they need on their skin to keep their skin healthy. So, and it works the same for humans too. So a fantastic line of products. Check them out at CoatDefense.com. When you use code CHICKS there, you're going to save 15% off of your entire order. CoatDefense.com. Why do they even report anything if they don't know? You know, like, I don't even understand how this happens. Well, because they know that they're never going to be held accountable for lying. And so they're like, let's just keep lying. Let's but they just... but they are now before the election. Like th this is coming at an inopportune time. It's coming at an inopportune time. But it's just like what we saw in that clip with that lady who's just like, I don't believe it. <laughs> right. I don't believe it. Even though it's true, they're just going to keep doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on a lie because they're dirty, nasty liars. This is what they do. <laughs> I mean, this is, that's a huge difference, right? Yeah. Like eight, to be off 818,000 jobs. Who did the calculation? The person that did the calculation <laughs> in the Bureau of Labor still has a job. We're paying that person's pension too. Imagine that. Mm, that's exactly. That's what's crazy. <laughs> that is I feel like that person at the very least should lose his or her job, but they won't. Yeah, what are you doing, BLS? Like, what what are you actually counting? Drinking, scotchy, scotch, scotch. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, and then all of this nonsense, and we've heard, you know, Kamala's plan, the only plan, other than copying, like, the tips thing, the only plan that she's come out with is to basically say, I'm going to stop price gouging, which is not happening and which is a crazy excuse for the inflation that she and joe biden caused yep. and i love that the squawk box guy um i forget his name but the squawk box guy <laughs> had a great point about that we that there's have actual competition, competition. we got have states, states. Why, got states why didn't like, the corporations yeah, raise why didn't the corporations gouge for 40 years if that's what caused it how yeah. did it suddenly happen they learned how to gouge three and a half years ago and it went to 40 year highs on inflation